Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela. for those of you who are new here and this is my 20 questions for 2020 video. Um, I put a poll up on my Instagram letting you guys submit questions to me, things you'd want to know about me. I figured it would be a good way to let you guys get to know a little bit more about me and for me to be able to do a little bit more of a personal video. Anyways, we're going to keep this intro short. This is like my fourth time filming this video because all my other times was like blurry or boring or I don't know, I wasn't going to give you guys a crappy video so we are back again today um, and we're just gonna go ahead and get right into the questions. Question number one is what made you want to start YouTube? Um, so I've been wanting to start YouTube for quite a while now but I never had the guts to do it so I finally built up the confidence and just made myself go ahead and put out my first video. I have a lot of ideas and um, I love being creative. I feel like that's my outlet for expressing myself and so I feel like a YouTube channel is a really good way to be able to express myself and share some content with you guys and um, really just use social media to make friends and build a platform and um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I really enjoy it. Question number two, do you want kids? If so, how many? Um, I absolutely want kids. I want like all of the kids. I want like four. Um, Ben's not too on board with that many yet, but I love kids. All I want to be in the world is a mom. So yes, 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 yes. Um, question number three, how do you handle stress? I don't. Question number four, are you an early bird or a night owl? Um, I, my whole life I have been a night owl. I like to stay up late. However, I feel much more productive when I get up early and go to bed early. I feel like I get a lot more done throughout the day. So, um, kind of both. Take it how you want it. I don't know. Um, question number five, what's your favorite moment of 2019? Um, well, I have two. So my first favorite moment is getting engaged. I feel like that's, you know, obvious. Um, eh, that's really exciting. It's been a really exciting time in my life. So I'm definitely excited to be engaged. And then my second moment that I think I'm most proud of from 2019 is actually choosing not to go back to school this semester, which a lot of you probably don't know. Um, for those of you who do know me personally, I am not in school right now. I decided to take the semester off for me. Um, that was a really big decision for me and I'm really proud of myself for carrying through with it and taking care of myself first. So um, I'll be returning in the fall. But I'm going to do a whole video over that, so I'm not going to get too in-depth with it. But yeah, I'm really proud of that as well. So we're just going to keep moving on with the questions. Um, question number six, where would you like to eventually live and why? Um, I definitely want to move out west eventually. Me and Ben ventured out to Colorado and Arizona one summer, and we fell absolutely in love with it. Um, we love it out there. It's beautiful. It's a, like a whole different world, different scenery. Um, and so I can definitely see us like moving out there and planting some roots and like starting our lives out there. Question number seven, how long have you and Ben been together? We've been together for four years, over four years. So that is literally like a fifth of my life which is crazy to me that he's put up with my bull crap for four years. That's pretty impressive. Way to go, babe. Number eight, what kind of videos are you going to post in the future? Um, whatever I feel like, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gonna be posting probably makeup videos. I'm really into that. And I just have a lot to share with everyone. I have a lot of love to give, and I really just want to express that through my YouTube channel and I also want to document my life because you know life goes by fast and there are moments that happen that you never get back so I, I definitely want to be able to document things important times in my life and stuff like that. Question number nine, what's your favorite color? Um, I kind of have a favorite color palette I guess so dark greens, dark yellows, and like dark orangey colors um, I think all those together just look really pretty and like if I could just decorate like a whole room or a whole house like that's probably all the tones that it would consist of so um those but if i had to pick one i think green's my favorite number 10 how old are you i am 21 i just turned 21 in october so yeah i can drink now <laughs> i don't i don't oh, i do drink i don't party though so it it's just it's another year yeah um, number 11, are you an introvert or an extrovert? 
Um, I'm definitely an extrovert. I love socialization. I get fuel from um, interacting with people, socializing, hanging out with friends. I love like going out and doing things. I can't sit at home by myself for too long. I start to go stir crazy. Like I need someone to talk to. Um, yeah, so definitely an extrovert. And number 12, do you prefer staying in or going out? This one kind of contradicts um, what I said in number 11 because I actually prefer staying in than going out um, in terms of like bars, partying, clubs, that kind of stuff. I don't like doing that. It makes me way too anxious to be around like big crowds and stuff. Just makes me way too nervous. So I just can't do that. Number 13, what quality do you look for most when making new friends? Look, none of us like a Karen, right? Um, so not one of those. I, I think I definitely look for someone who I can feel comfortable around. Um, someone who I can, you know, just be myself around and like not feel like I'm being judged by them or um, stuff like that. We've all talked to those people where you just talk to them and like the entire time they're like, mm. mm -hmm. yeah, you know that really like judgy like. Yeah, can't do that. Number 14, do you have siblings? How many? Uh, yes, I have one sister. She is older than me and she is a doll. I love her. She's actually going to be my maid of honor at my wedding. So, love you sis. <laughs> Number 15, what are some goals you have for 2020? Um, I think goals are overrated, really. Um, what a hard question. Um, <laughs> uh, Goals, 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 I don't know. Um, probably to find out what I want to do with my life. I feel like that's a pretty difficult thing. Um, I would definitely like to find out more about myself and who I am and um, find like true happiness, you know, like with myself. So that's like pretty heavy, but that's probably like my biggest goal for 2020. Number 16, what do you think your best slash worst qualities are? This is a hard question, right? Because nobody wants to answer this question. Um, okay, so I'm going to talk about, for me personally, what I think my best and worst qualities are, like, for myself, not necessarily with interacting with other people. So, um, what was I going to say? Mm, this is a tricky one, you guys. <laughs> What's your best quality? Um, it shouldn't be this hard to answer it, right? My best quality is probably that I'm really open-minded. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I think my best quality about myself is that I'm really open-minded and I'm pretty much willing to like try anything, you know, like new foods, new experiences, going places, like I'm really open to a lot of different ideas and um, just stuff like that and I think that benefits me a lot because I get to experience a lot of things and like um, I just feel like it's a really like good quality to have so probably that and then my worst quality uh, is for myself is probably that I lack confidence I lack a lot of confidence I'm really insecure like for no reason um, <laughs> um, just because I don't, I think that insecurity is stupid. Um, but yeah, I, I'm constantly like doubting myself and like questioning my own choices and my own abilities and like I feel like I am my own worst enemy so like that puts the limitation, like every limitation that I have is always set by myself. So that's probably my worst quality. Um, number 17, what are you most excited for about your wedding slash being married? Okay, so for my wedding, I'm most excited just for the whole day. Like, I think it's going to be so much fun having all of our friends and family together to celebrate. Like, I'm really excited to, like, have that time with all of them and to be able to experience, like, such an intimate and, like, loving day with Ben and, you know, really, like, solidifying our relationship. And, um, yeah, and also I get to wear, like, a bomb dress. So, really excited for that. Um... And then about being married, um, probably that he's really stuck with me then. <laughs> okay, that's horrible. That's horrible. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, 
honestly probably like getting our own place and like really feeling like real adults like being like independent on our own and like having each other to rely on like getting to come home to him every day like to our own house and yeah I don't know I'm just like really excited for like that I feel like it's like a security thing you know and just like knowing that like I found like the love of my life and that I get to like be with him all the time like yeah I don't know super pumped okay that was so awkward why am i so awkward okay um number what number am i guys number 18 um what's your favorite makeup brand ColourPop is probably my favorite makeup brand if you haven't tried them i recommend it they're really affordable they have amazing products i've never tried anything from them that i'm disappointed by their eyeshadow lipstick like everything from them is amazing and you know the price is right so okay number 19 what are you studying in college right now nothing because i'm a dropout <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I'm studying psychology. I'm a third year psychology major and all of um, school I have been pre-med so I take a lot of sciences and I study the human brain. Okay, so quick story about my neighbor over here. Um, so out of my bedroom windows I can see their front porch and like he just like comes outside and like hangs out a lot and the other day when I was trying to film he like he was just like started like doing like all these little dances on his front porch um anyways number 20 um save the best for last what are you most passionate about <sighs> um i'm most passionate about being like a leader to other people and and helping them on their journey of you know finding themselves and loving themselves and like also i really want to i'm really passionate about it but i'll start advocating more for like people with disabilities and um if you don't know me i have a disability i was born with cfd um so you know i have a physical disability and it has taken a huge i mean it's a huge impact on my life and it has totally changed my life and um i see i feel like i see the world in a, in a way that other people um, without disabilities don't really get to experience and so I'd like to use my platform to kind of speak out and like be a friend and also like educate people on what it's like to live with a disability and stuff like that so um, that was really deep but I feel like that's what I'm really passionate about right now so yeah that's me that's me now you know who I am um, <laughs> But anyways, really, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and, you know, I will answer more questions for you guys. I really want my channel to be a place where everyone um, can feel like a family and feel welcomed and, um, you know, I want to be a friend. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I don't have much more to say. So if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot. Thank you guys. I will catch you in my next video. Ah. So number 10, how old are you? 